Raindrops in her eyes signal a coming storm, and with it, the chorus of nature begins. Watch closely, for where rain falls, frogs emerge, heralding the rhythm of life. The biggest pen in Namibia, known as Itasha, has also benefited from these downpours. Overnight, a miraculous transformation has taken place. This vast inland sea of clay and water has now become host to thousands of flamingos. The arrival of these birds doesn't go unnoticed. Since flamingos are extremely sociable birds, and their loud honking calls can be heard from a great distance. However, their sociable calls also have been heard by a pair of young black-backed jackals. They curiously observe the arrival of flocks of strange long-legged creatures that appear from the sky, as if from nowhere, plunging down in the water the next moment. Once the young jackals have abandoned their den to fend for themselves, it is the first time they've experienced something like this and heard such a strange noise. But once again, their curiosity takes over. Two types of flamingos are to be found here, namely the greater flamingo and the lesser flamingo. The lesser flamingo being the more prominent of the two in the Atosha pan. Flamingos are elegant waders. They're known as filter feeders, fitted with a downward curving bill that is unique amongst the bird species. They usually feed while wading in shallows, using their feet to stir up the mud at the bottom. It is, however, not only the huge pan that teems with life. Once deserted, dried up water holes have become hives of activity attracting all kinds of living creatures. As we sit down to observe all the activities around one of the swamps, we hear a whoop whoop sound, which reminds us of the bellowing sound of cattle. Listen. Upon closer observation, we are rewarded with what we've come for. This swamp is home to the little big monsters the giant bullfrog of Africa. Lurking mysteriously in the muddy water, they come to mate, eat and play. All this only happens after heavy thunder showers and at the beginning of the mating season. But how do these frogs know when it is time for them to emerge from their underground burrows? Easy enough. The giant bullfrog can spend several years below the surface, wrapped in and protected by a cocoon of old skin and mucus. The cocoon prevents the evaporation of body fluids. It retains approximately half of the water that the frog without a cocoon would lose. During a good rainstorm, the seeping water soaks the cocoon and softens it until it splits open. The frog wriggles out and promptly eats the cocoon in order to ingest nutrients. Shortly afterwards, it emerges from its subterranean burrow to breed. At first, we spot only one male bullfrog in this relatively large swamp. Is he the only one who survived the drought? There's only one way for the bullfrog male to find out. The male fills his lungs with air and forces the air from the lungs through the larynx, causing the vocal folds to vibrate. Vocal sacs enhance the effectiveness of his call. It is pretty much the same mechanism that we use to speak. But instead of exhaling externally as we do, the bullfrog forces the air into an inflatable vocal sac. It is only the male frog that sings or calls, and it is only during the rainy season, which is when they emerge from estivation to breed in pools of water. 
The bullfrog uses this call for two reasons. Firstly, to attract mates to their spawning site. And secondly, to warn off rivals, meaning other bullfrogs. After the call is completed, the air is returned to the lungs to be used again. The vocal sac saves energy as well as air, which is critical to the male bullfrog because calling is the most energetically exhaustive thing he ever does. He calls again and then starts to search for a female to mate with. Suddenly the bullfrog realizes that he is not alone. He finds himself in the territory of another bullfrog. They size each other up cautiously and then instinct takes over. Males do not only defend their mates, but also their calling sites against rivals. The male uses a special call to warn off other males who could infringe on his territory. If the intruder does not heed the warning, as in this case, the male bullfrog on whose territory he's trespassing could attack him. Usually a trial of strength quickly determines who wins the calling site. It is, however, not only in the water that a lot of activity is taking place. Life around the swamps has also started to reverberate. The green and lavish vegetation entices not only animals, but many of the inhabitants flock into the felt in search of what Mother Nature has to offer. The termite hills in the northern part of the country hide a secret that is only unlocked during a good rainy season. Shortly after the rains in February, massive omanjawas or anthill mushrooms will appear overnight. Our guide tells us that the omanjawa mushrooms are vigorously sought after by humans and animals and that they are widely used as food throughout much of Africa. This is the world's largest umbrella mushroom with an edible cap that can weigh up to one kilogram. That's about two pounds and often exceeds more than 40 centimeters, about 15 inches in diameter. So far, nobody has succeeded in growing them commercially. The secret is carefully protected by its keepers, who are also the inhabitants and masters of the termite hills. Days of rain succeed each other and the animals begin to revive. Activities around the waterholes increase daily and birds start to prepare for the mating season. The air is filled with the music composed of the calls and chirping sounds of birds as they try to catch the attention of their female partners. Weavers have decided to build their nests in a tree surrounded by water where snakes cannot reach them easily. Or so they think. While the paradise flycatcher decides to set up nest further away, untouched by all the noise and activity. Meanwhile, it appears as if the giant bullfrog is completely oblivious to all these activities happening around it. In episode 3, we continue our journey in sub-Saharan Africa in search of the biggest amphibian on the continent. We will be up close witnesses to the intriguing mating rituals of the African bullfrog and discover one of the biggest threats facing this remarkable species.